Gentlemen, you were giving your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. Well, we got a good, clean, hard fight from Mark Castro and Julio Madera. What will Diego Pacheca and Hans Plana have planned for us in our featured bout here on Before the Bell? Pacheco coming in, trying to improve to 14 0. Just 20 years of age, the tall, powerful, super middleweight being groomed for the big stage. And right away, you see the unorthodox stance from Gens Plana. The only thing is, I don't know if he's ever faced someone who's 6'4". Yeah, I, I was going to say, fighting with your lead hand down, your chin way up in the air against a guy with the height like Pacheco does. Not a great strategy. Bona says it's a style that he found. Feels like it works for him, and I mean he's had success as a pro, nine three and one. And I've called Plana's fights before. He actually can fight. You know, don't don't let the style fool you. Um, he knows what he's doing in there. The lead oh. is down. The chin is up, and that spells trouble for Plana here in round one. And I agree. Very awkward. But if Pacheco again sticks to the game plan, um, he has this fight in the bag. Yeah, it's, it's, from a style matchup perspective, it you know it really favors Pacheco's height, his powerful right hand. Crowd coming alive behind Diego Pacheco. Oh, and a big right hand. He's not even jabbing his way in. He's leading with the right hand and landing clean. That big 79-inch reach paying dividends here for Diego Pacheco. I said from the open, this kid's one of my favorite prospects in the game today. Lana on the ropes. Dangerous spot here. 90 seconds to go. Good feint. No rush. Jab into the body. Wild swings from Plana. An overhand right coming in for Pacheco. Plana cannot get away from that right hand. That right hand's going to land. Plana in trouble. And even though Plana is awkward, Pacheco's doing a good job of tying him up on the inside, still letting his hands go, not taking any damage on the way in. It's only a matter of time just from what we are seeing where that right hand is going to blister the chin of Plana. You see Pacheco setting it up. He's going downstairs now. Look for him to look down and throw up like that. Pacheco called Plana's style awkward, crazy. Said it could, he sees how it could throw a fighter off. But he has everything in his arsenal to catch him. He said the plan was to come in, put pressure on Plana right away. The eyes widened against Plana. Oh, nice left hook to the chest. Right in the middle of his, his abdomen there. Shot. Right off the bat, Pacheco very measured, avoiding the wild swings from Plana. Say we see that right hand, a lead right hand, right over the top. Hits that exposed chin of Plana. Pacheco doing a very good job of finding a home for that right hand. Whether it's over the top or straight down the middle. Plano's going to need to make an adjustment so he doesn't keep eating right hands all night long. Plano with that hands down style. Believe it or not, the three losses, he's never been stopped. It's coming off an eight round Knockout victory after two straight losses. Trying to pick up back-to-back -back victories for the first time in two and a half years, but he is way behind the eight ball here in our featured bout on, behind, uh, on, on before the bell as we get ready to go with our second round. Pacheco in complete control. Yeah, you mentioned Plana. You know, he, he's, his record's not great, but he's been in tough his whole career. 
got a lot of experience, even, even though he only has 13 fights. Right hand from Diego Pacheco, a ticking time bomb. There, there it is again. Just touches the chin of Juan on the way in. And more fist behind the head from Juan. That was that looked pretty blatant to me. Jerry K2 giving him some words. Pacheco trying to work the body at close range. You gotta be careful when you're fighting awkward guys like this. Sometimes overthinking it can be troublesome. It can cause you to not fight the way that you really should. Just keep it simple. The fundamentals always work. Jab to the body from Pacheco. Oh! And that right hand comes in. And he has Plata looking like Bandy. Oh, yeah. That's, that's gonna right. do it. Keep it simple, right? <laughs> Great job by Pacheco, taking out an awkward guy and looking good doing it, which a lot of times can be difficult to do. There you see Pacheco surrounded by Team Benavidez. Pacheco, after his last fight, he split with his original training team. And he did it really without a plan. He didn't have anyone lined up. He went about two, three months without a trainer. Wow. And he was around the L.A. area, not going back to his original gym. Finally, his good friends, the Benavides brothers, he told them what was going on, put him in contact with his father. He said, hey, come train with us. Come to the Benavides house. That's an impressive decision for a young man to make, to go out it alone like that. Just from his stance and just his distance, how he established that, I can tell he's going to be a great fighter. And not overthrowing it, but really shooting it right down the middle. Yep, like we had said, keeping it simple. He threw the right hand, he was landing the right hand, cleaned it up with the left hook, and that's all she wrote. The right hand setting up a demolishing left hook for Diego Pacheco, who picks up the second round knockout over against Plana. His 11th knockout in his career as he picks up his 14th victory as a pro. Let's go back into the ring, make it official with Dave Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jerry Cantu calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 29 seconds of round number two. Your winner by knockout, he's still undefeated, Diego Pacheco.